Hey guys, how well do you know Zelda? Did you know the origins of the Zelda series? As a kid, Miyamoto loved exploring, often wandering deep into the woods. At times, he would even get lost and stumble onto all sorts of new areas to explore. One day, by chance, he happened to stumble upon a dark cave, and after building up the courage, he brought a lantern and explored the connecting tunnels of the cave. Sound familiar? Did you know the title's origins? The Legend of Zelda, an odd title considering most Nintendo games are named after their main character, Mario, Donkey Kong, and others. Well, aside from Samus and Metroid, and that one Zelda game we're not allowed to speak of. As it turns out, the original title was the Hyrule Fantasy, with the legend only being a subtitle, which makes more sense, since the game takes place inside Hyrule. Japan eventually grew fond of the American title, and it took the place of the original. Did you know the origins of the Triforce? The Triforce was originally going to be made of microchips. In an interview with Miyamoto, he stated the original story was going to take place between the past and the future. Instead of a Triforce granting power, we would be collecting a piece of a time machine. After each dungeon, we would collect more microchips and travel between time, with Link being a literal link between the past and the future. And several other Zelda games have also dabbled with time warping and time manipulation as well. Fun fact, Nintendo now states Link doesn't speak to help Link the player to the world of Hyrule, and to help us cast our own emotions and feelings onto him. Did you know, was it Mario or Zelda? Over the years, Mario and Zelda have shared many of the same character designs. This is the most prominent in Link's Awakening, but the sharing of assets go even further back than that. During the early stages of development with the original Zelda and Mario games, Miyamoto would come up with an ideal or gameplay mechanic and experiment with which game it was better suited in. A few examples being the Fire Bar, and the enemy Piranha Plant, and the Manhandla Boss, as well as the future Deku Babas. Did you know the original Zelda had DLC? While Zelda was always meant to be an adventure game, Nintendo has always wanted to innovate. One such innovation came with the Famicom Disk System add-on. With the floppy disk drive, we would be able to design our own dungeons, save them, and share them with friends. Think SimCity, but with dungeons, or something similar to what Nintendo is finally doing now with the Mario Maker. Please take a moment to like this channel on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter at facebook.com slash gameoverjesse, and twitter.com slash gameoverjesse. Hey guys, I want to thank you for watching this video, please thumb up and subscribe if you liked it. The Legend of Zelda series is a real passion of mine.